Hello and welcome to the Center for Victory podcast of your best day yet. Here at Center for Victory, we're here to help unlock, reinforce, and enrich relationships through personal and professional development. My name is Zachary Del Turco. I'm an executive consultant here at the Center for Victory. And today we have Eric Guy, Chief Victory Officer. Yes, sir. Good to be back. Yes, sir. And we're going to be talking about discretionary effort. Right. And for people who never heard of this word discretionary effort or this definition, what is discretionary effort? Well, today we're going to be talking about it inside the, the uh, workplace, right? So that, that discretionary effort, that's the difference between somebody just coming to work and doing the bare minimum and going and putting in the extra effort. So that's the difference between what I have to do and what I want to do. A lot of times that uh, we'll talk in, inside of companies about engagement, how engaged are your people. Um, it's not necessarily has to do with happiness inside of, of the workplace, but I think that's a nice benefit of it. But it's really going above and beyond. These are the people inside your company that you don't have to tell them to come in early or leave late. They're, they're putting in longer hours um, a lot of times just because they want to. It's purposeful work to them. And these are really your champions, right? Uh, when, when you have discretionary effort that you get from people, these are the ones that are out there championing your company, what you do. They're very passionate about it. They don't take a lot of days off. They, you know, sometimes you have to tell them to go home when they're sick. Uh, you know, all, all those things, you know, all of the above. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we just don't see a, a lot of it in a lot of places. There are some places where, where it does, mm -hmm. where you go, where do people do go above and beyond. And, you know, there's obviously a way to get there. Uh, I think sometimes we just think it happens by chance, though. Yeah, so the, the have to is your employees, the get to are your owners, Men mentality wise. How do you take your employees to owners, or how do you get somebody that just comes into work every single day just to collect that paycheck versus going above and beyond? So, how do you get somebody from the have to to the get to? Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> one of the things that, that we talk about are the four. Uh, four levels of engagement, the four factors that go into uh, employee engagement, but how do I get discretionary effort? The first one is job. I mean, a lot of people aren't in the right role. Mm -hmm. The people that are, uh, what happens is when you come to work every day and you don't have to behave any different than what comes natural to you, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like fun. When, when people put in that discretionary effort, a lot of times we'll see that they are in the right role or they've created the role or or even better yet, sometimes the, the company has let them create a role that fits their behavioral hmm. drives and needs. Uh, the second one is manager, which is huge. Uh, nowadays, we're looking at, at people who are just leaving companies because the job market is so wide open. And what you want to focus on there is how that manager treats the person. So they might be in the right role, but a lot of times we say people don't quit their, their job, they quit their boss. Mm -hmm. uh, when, you're, when you're not getting what you need out of the environment, and it's much like even a child. You know, when you think about a, a child that, that has a better relationship with their parent than, a, than, a, than some other child, uh, typically that child is giving is getting what they need from the parent and that parent's just not expecting them to, to do certain things and be, you know, just controlling and everything like that. When you have a good manager, the manager meets the needs, not the wants. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a big difference. You have to meet the needs of that person. So in the right role, right? And then the manager who understands that person and gives them what they need uh, in that. Uh, the other uh, two pieces there are... Uh, somewhat go hand in hand, but team dynamics, looking at the whole team. Um, is this, uh, you know, does this need to be a diverse team? Does this need to be a similar team? What are we, what are we trying to do? What are we trying to get at? You know, do we, how do we become more complementary to one another? Because a lot of times um, people will get upset with each <laughs> other just because it's just behavioral differences. Yeah. Like, you know, you've seen it when people get upset at, at, at us when, we don't provide all the detail. Never, no. <laughs> never happens. <laughs> never but, happens. but then vice versa too. If we don't know that you know that person, a person you know that asks lots of questions to us, when we don't know how they're wired, um, can drive us nuts. 
but we need to know that team dynamic because that can be very complementary mm-hmm. in nature and we have that here and that's what you know that's what makes us strong and that leads to the the, the fourth piece which is culture i mean you have to to measure the culture people go above and beyond when they fit into that culture with people yep. so um, you have to take a look at that there are some ways that that we do that internally but ha- but all those have to be in- reinforced mm-hmm. right it's just not oh hey we'll do it and leave it um, you, know, you have to make sure that person's in the right role they have the correct manager and that manager gives them what they need the team dynamics are solid which it creates that culture and people especially nowadays people want to be in a culture that that drives their purpose they mm-hmm. just don't want to go to work just to go to work they want to feel that sense of hey we're all going towards a, a, the same common goal and it's purposeful i mean i talk to a lot of um folks do a lot of coaching with folks your age and that's what they always say mm-hmm. like they you know i had a young lady that that didn't take a, a job because she said you know I, I didn't i went in and i didn't like the culture <laughs> And I was like, wow, that's powerful because it was a good paying job. Um, she was going to get more than she was at a previous job. And she said, I just don't think it was a good fit. I want some somewhere where I feel driven and purposeful. Mm. And, you know, and she's, she's, she's a wonderful person, right? And, and she does go above and beyond, but you even get more out of her when she's in that, that yeah. culture there. So, so culture eats strategies lunch every single day yeah so what i heard you saying is in order to get your people from i have to to get to or even yourself how do i get from i have to to i get to it's right person right role yeah team dynamics manager as a manager Mm -hmm. managing properly and culture and that big piece is the culture the manager and culture is really what you want to pay attention to however um you know if you're not in the right role None of those other things matter. You're just going to be miserable. Uh, there's very few people. I mean, people can do it. I don't want to say, like, I don't want to just have a blanket statement that nobody can just stretch to be completely different than who they are. Mm-hmm. It's just not fun watching those kind of people. But they can do it. Some people have that internal fortitude that they can they can do something that they're totally not wired for and, and enjoy it. But that's few and far between. Yeah. So. so last question for people who are watching, maybe this has been their life journey where they go to work, they come home, they're de-energized. They go to work, their boss doesn't treat them well. Is it possible for everybody to go to go from I have to to I get to mentality? I believe so. I mean, some of that, I mean, goes back even culturally um, in our thinking, but is there ability to? Yes. I mean, we've seen it in some of the companies we work with. Where, where people are in the right role. Um, when you have fantastic managers, I mean, we have worked with some companies that just eat, the, you know, our, our behavioral analytics all up and they just give people what they need and they're just growing and the managers are doing less work, which means they get more time on the more strategic stuff. Mm-hmm. I do believe it is, but, it, but here's the thing, it takes work. Because people are gonna maybe hear this and say, well, no, I don't believe that everybody has the capacity. Um, they have the capacity, they just have to have the will. Yeah. I don't think, some people just don't have the will, but you don't want those. When you, going back to what we said, what creates discretionary effort, when you have a great culture, the people that don't want to put in the extra to go above and beyond, typically will get weeded out by the people that are really strong that want to go, because it, that creates that kind of culture, yeah. where that culture is, I'm putting in extra because bigger picture, purposeful, I, I, get, I have a lot of passion towards this. I get fed just as much as I feed in. All those things. So, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. As we kind of wrap up, any final takeaways, bullet points, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I think the bullet points, just to reiterate, I don't think we can say it enough. Um, you know, we were just at a conference Monday where where we spoke, and uh, one of the gentlemen that was that was sitting in the, in the audience came up and said, man, that was so powerful, mm-hmm. right? That one slide where we have job, manager, culture, yep. um, right, and team dynamics. He said, people just need to hear that over and over again because it's something that we don't uh, put into play in our companies. Mm-hmm. We have great business strategy. We know what the results want to be at the end of the year. 
But if we don't take time with that people strategy, and that's with right job mm -hmm. for the person, uh, right manager or manager motivating, giving them what they need, the team dynamics and the culture. When you have that, you create a great people strategy. It just creates discretionary effort over and over and over again, up until the point where you have to tell people, "Hey, look, let's take a break." Yeah. So, yeah. Those would <laughs> let's be let's go tips. on a walk. Yeah. yeah. So, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening to our first podcast of discretionary effort. We have another three to four coming after this, so make sure you stay tuned. Hit that little bell to get notifications when we add new videos here on YouTube and our other social media. But wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, make this your best day yet and have a great day. See ya.